Hi guys, it's Angel from Angel Sky TV and Hi. Kalina. Hello. And we're here today. We want to talk about this psychic, no, the this astrologi <laughs> astrological weather. So um, Kalina is an astrologer and I'm an astrology student. So I always like to hear from a multitude of astrologers because I find everybody has a different perspective. Mm -hmm. With that. Yeah. yeah. Actually, we should probably talk about that first because there are different ways to do astrology and some are very, very strict. Like it has to be a certain way. Mm -hmm. I'm not one of those astrologers. I do it the way yeah. um, I feel. I've been studying astrology for over ten, um, 25 years now. So the way I do it is I go by the feeling or the personalities of the planets. And mm -hmm. I know a lot of astrologers will probably argue with me. With yes. This, so. And it is definitely perspective, really, yeah. when you think about it. Um, like, for example, a lot of people um, characterize Saturn as being the strict um, planet that's male. I happen to feel like Saturn is female, right. like a grandmother, because my granny is strict. And that's stuff. a good way to look at it. Yeah. yeah. Nice way. Um, I actually can't take credit for that. I did learn that through my, one of my teachers, one of my astrology teachers. So like she that. talked about it like that, and I was like, yeah, bring on the woman power. Yeah, yeah. that's nice. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Um, so with astrology, uh, one thing that I think is really good for students or for everyone to pay attention to is actually the moon signs because the moon changes the zodiac signs every two and a half days. So mm -hmm. that's why like some mornings you can go in, you're having a really good morning, mid morning, all of a sudden you feel like the energy just completely changed. Mm -hmm. I would check the moon. Okay. Moon signs in that. So right now the moon's in Taurus, correct? I, or no, it's in a Pisces. Pisces. It just, Pisces. It just went to Pisces. Okay. Bit. So every two and a half days, the moon goes into a different sign. sign. Right. Right. If you go to, um, there's a really great website called uh, astro.com, www.astro.com. There's a field there where it'll say, it'll say current planets, and it'll have them all up. You, so you can find oh. where is the moon. This is awesome, because I never knew how people knew where anything was. Like, And so that there's a term for that, the transit transiting planets. Is that right. correct? Yeah. Correct? Okay. Yeah, because natal is what you're born with. Th those are mm -hmm. so your natal birth chart. That's what you're born with. That's, where, mm -hmm. that's what the sky looked like when you were born. The blueprint of the sky. And you right. do need your time of birth to figure that out. You do. Well, you can get it. Like, I mean, you can still get your chart, but it's not as detailed. Because with your time of birth, it's so... When the sun rises, if you kind of visualize the zodiac as a great big wheel, um, the planets are rising. So when you're ascendant, it's very important in astrology because this is the sign rising. This is how you're presenting mm -hmm. yourself to the world. Yep. So that's where the time, the birth time comes into. Yes. So without your birth time, you can still, you, you'll still know your sun sign. You'll yeah. still know your moon, moon sign. Um, but you won't necessarily know your rising. But according to uh, Judith Hill, she talks about how people visually look a certain way. So you can kind of guess, guess yeah. what people are uh, by their rising sign. Yeah. Um, and there's some that will go by the personality where mm -hmm. it's like, no, I really want to show myself as a Leo or I want to show myself there. But then again, we get into the different astrologers where they will argue that. Yes. So, and there's some that will say they'll use their pendulum. Some will argue with that. Yes. Right. To pendulum the time. Of right. Birth. Right. Right. Yes, I I've heard of that. Go with what you feel. Because this is when it comes to that, I have. I have a bit of a problem with others say like it has to be like this because mm -hmm. it's your path. It's you know it's your chart. You, I know I'm probably gonna criticize for this, but it's you know you know what's right, not so yes. you go with that. If it feels right to you, you trust it. Mm -hmm. um, people do definitely perceive things differently. I do find it hilarious that people think that who they are is based on solely their sun sign. Yeah. I mean, that's a very popular concept. Like, yeah. I'm a Taurus, or I'm this, I'm that. And it's like, well, there's so much more to you than just that sun sign, or right. where where your sun, where the sun was at the time of your birth. Um, you know, just even the way you communicate, for example, where Mercury was, that's that huge. plays a huge, huge role in how you communicate or don't communicate or, or whatever. Hear. How do you hear? How do you need to be communicated to? Yes. So another. Yeah, so all of the planets each individually have characteristics, from my understanding, mm -hmm. and that influences how you are personally. But most people just focus exclusively on sun signs, which I think is kind of... But it's you also know. too like what's presented. Like if you go to um, like the grocery store, if you're reading the horoscope, that's solely based on the sun, like where the yep, sun is according the sun to. Is. Yep. So what is happening in the astrological weather well, right now? I'm actually going to go back to the summer because the summer 2016, uh, I know myself, you probably know too with your clients, mm -hmm. it was like really intense. I know I've been doing professional readings for 20 years now and mm -hmm. I don't think I ever remember a summer where it was this many breakups. 
And there was a lot of breakups. It was crazy. A and lot of people getting into unnecessary communication battles with people as yeah. well. Yep, even yeah. with just their family. Very, yep. very much. And the my my translation of it was there was a big square between Neptune, which is the planet of illusions. Uh, it can be the pl planet of deceit. It's also to the psychic power, the mm -hmm. psychic energy, was squaring Saturn. And Saturn is the grandmother, as you say, the, yep. the teacher. Um, a square in astrology is when the planets are 90 degrees from each other. And what it does is it creates a challenging energy. It's not a natural flow because it's got that angle. Ah. So what it does is it makes things really hard where it's like, okay, I can't do this anymore because mm -hmm. Saturn is basically calling it on Neptune and saying, no, stop being in this illusion. Or, yeah. but it's also to an energy where we can mm -hmm. be very blinded, where I've seen somewhere they got into a relationship where they were like, oh crap, what I, what I do this for? So Saturn yeah. is like teaching. So November 25th, 2016, we're coming out of that. Uh, so we're, yeah, we're almost there, <laughs> almost there, thank God. Um, but yeah. it began in May, so April, May 2016, you would have noticed this. So there would have been a lot of things happen where it's like, I thought this was dealt with, why is this coming up? But Saturn mm -hmm. would be like, no, you need to deal with this. Yeah. You didn't deal with this. Yeah. Um, the breakups that I saw, a lot of it was things that, you know, maybe we're allowing things that we shouldn't, because Saturn, that's why it was so intense. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of that, and there was a lot of energy where I saw people getting back together where maybe they shouldn't be getting back together, but Saturn and Neptune are like, no, you need to deal with this. Deal with this yep. energy. Stop pretending it's okay when it's not. So it was a very challenging summer. So we're coming to the end of it. You probably would have noticed last week, I noticed with my clients, there's a lot of uh, fighting with spouses mm -hmm. or partners, um, myself mm -hmm. included. <laughs> so, well, myself so, included, I was just thinking, me and Al were at each other's throats last week. Yeah. This explains why. Me too. It's, yep. Um, but what's happening is because this is the tail end of it. So mm -hmm. in, in my observation, when I see a square happen at the beginning of it, that's when it's really rough and like, oh my goodness, what's coming? Because at the beginning mm -hmm. of it, we had Mars retrograde. The Mars, that was a big astrological mm -hmm. news for here where it kind of um, made us have to deal with things, a lot of fights, a lot of, yeah. because that's, <clears throat> we need to deal with it. Um, and now, now that we're coming to the tail end of it, the universe is bringing to us, okay, did you get this lesson? Are you done this? Because now what's, what I'm noticing is I'm seeing a lot of people come to us and they're like, oh, I made this decision back in like June, July to go into this relationship. Now it's like, I don't know if I want this. Because mm -hmm. it's like, because you learn, you get what you want, but it's like, is it what I want? So we're seeing a lot of that. Oh, okay. With that. that but that's sense. part of the square because that Neptune and Saturn are like, okay, get this work done. Understand this. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing that. Um, but the other big news this month on November 14th is the new moon or full moon in Taurus and yes. yeah so this is really excellent for <laughs> Taurus and Scorpios very strong yeah. power for you guys mm -hmm. so usually there's a lot of psychic development there's mm -hmm. clarity where it's like okay I know where I need to go the yep. ones that's going to challenge is actually Leo and Aquarius and mm -hmm. the reason I say that is that because uh, Taurus and Scorpio because they're they're opposite sign in the zodiac yeah so what they do is they square Leo and Aquarius and so those two signs my husband's in for it because his daughter and myself, I'm Taurus and my daughter is Scorpio um, and Al's in Aquarius. So you two will have to teach yeah. them how to hear you. Yeah. So for... Um, Sorry, Al. <laughs> <laughs> so for Aquarius and Leos, my sister's in Aquarius too, uh, you may find this full moon very challenging where it's like, 